Today's topic is splenomegaly. Splenomegaly is a condition that occurs when the spleen is enlarged. The spleen is an organ that lies below the left rib cage next to the stomach on the left side of the abdomen. It is an organ that performs some very critical functions in the human body system. The spleen is a major blood filter responsible for removing old damaged blood cells as well as storing red blood cells and platelet that helps the blood to clot. The spleen also helps the body in preventing infections by producing white blood cells and acts as a defense against disease-causing organisms. An enlarged spleen affects each of these critical functions. As the spleen grows bigger, it filters both normal and abnormal red blood cells, minimizing the number of healthy blood cells left in the bloodstream, leading to more frequent infections. When the spleen is enlarged, there is a great possibility of it rupturing. A ruptured spleen is life-threatening, as it can cause bleeding into the abdominal cavity. Causes A spleen enlargement, or splenomegaly, is usually caused by infections and diseases, including a metabolic disorder such as Goucher's disease, benign and malignant tumors such as leukemia, melanoma, myeloproliferative disease, viral infections such as cytomegalovirus, acute and chronic bacterial infections such as endocarditis, malaria, syphilis, liver diseases such as cirrhosis, hemolytic anemia, trauma, for example, from a car accident, drug reactions, an autoimmune disorder, such as rheumatoid arthritis, diseases that weaken the immune system, such as AIDS, marrow damage by radiation or toxins. Symptoms. Symptoms may include abdominal pain that may radiate to the back or shoulder blade, chest pain, feeling full without eating or after taking a small amount of food, fatigue, easy bleeding, frequent infections, anemia. In some cases, there is an absence of symptoms. Risk factors may include children and young adults with infections, those with a metabolic disorder affecting the liver and spleen, travelers to areas where malaria is common. Diagnosis and treatment. Either found while the doctor is looking for an enlarged spleen because of a previous diagnosis, or incidentally when examining a patient, an enlarged spleen is most often found on a physical examination. The doctor can confirm diagnosis with one or more of these tests. Blood tests to check the number of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets in the bloodstream. Sometimes liver function test and bone marrow test can provide more detailed information about the blood cells. CT scan or an ultrasound to determine the size of the spleen. MRI to trace blood flow through the spleen. Treatment. Treatment of splenomegaly focuses on treating the underlying medical problem. If the cause of an enlarged spleen is a bacterial infection, treatment will include antibiotics. If the enlargement causes serious complications or the cause can't be treated or identified, splenectomy may be suggested. Splenectomy is the surgical removal of the spleen. This may offer the best hope of recovery in critical cases. Removing the spleen may make you more vulnerable to serious or even life-threatening infection, so careful considerations should be made. However, certain steps can help in minimizing your risk of being easily infected, which your doctor will probably talk to you about. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.